versus Pichu. Now I do know um, that uh, Pichu is one of Booty's secondaries, but I, I mean, we've seen Mike play like a bunch of characters, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Okay. All right, this will be interesting. Um, I don't know how this matchup plays out, but from the looks of it, I think it's gonna be probably corn on the evasive end, I think. And then maybe Pichu being the one that's the aggressor, just kind of going in with Nairs and Bears and so. Yeah. Oh, just immediately goes for that edge guard, no fear. So, Amir has to be a little bit careful when doing those, uh, doing those thunders just because you are kind of leaving yourself vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Like, Mike can just, like, pin. And if Mike pins near that ledge, like, Pichu's just gonna die at ridiculously low percent. So you gotta really be careful with your edge guard and cure. Yeah, definitely. It's like, it's one of those things that, um, while she's not the fastest, she hits so hard. And, you know, Pichu is super light. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. That said so. That said though, Mike taking that first stock, mm -hmm. that like missed recovery. So this is a little bit of a dangerous percent because you do not want to have Coronet Rage if you're Pichu. Yeah. <laughs> Did he taunt? <laughs> what a stab. <laughs> okay, so Confidence that's... booster. Yeah. All right, Mike gets some pretty high percents. Pichu can hit pretty hard, but that fourth throw is not going to be enough. See what he can do on the edge guard situation. Uh, it's kind of just flailing around, hitting some buttons, but finally catches the roll with the back air. So actually hitting all those buttons worked out. Mm -hmm. I feel like Pichu's moves are so deceptive in their strength. Like you'll get hit by an F smash and yeah. you'll think, oh, it's just like a little tiny jolt. Proceeds to die at 60. Yeah, Pichu is a really good example of a glass cannon because he's just so light, but oh my god, does he hit hard. Maybe maybe cannon is too weak. Maybe he's like a glass missile or something because goddamn. <laughs> it's also very fast, so it works out. But regardless, you know, they're on, their la on the same stocks here, but Booty is at super high percent. But he does have stage control right now. Let's see what he can do with this, uh, this ledge pressure. Nothing. Oh, oh, but... Uh, <laughs> There was a moment there where he gave it. He gave Mike the opening to get back on stage, but then he whiffed a up smash. But then he got punished anyway, and he got to tech those. So actually, this evened out really cleanly for the last stock, zero to five. All right. All right. Okay. Never Kirk. mind. <laughs> the pin to stop the string. That was brilliant. Just preventing, uh, preventing Rudy from coming from disadvantage. Alright. Be fair. That downer to cover the landing was really smart. Oh! I saw Mike miss a tech there on that Thunder Jewel. Ooh, caught the jump. Ooh. Very nice. That was a really nice catch on the jump. All right, so, yeah, Booty was kind of in control in the beginning, but uh, you know, Booty was able to turn around, just make it a little bit more even. Um, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know what the... the Reason behind Corn maybe just felt like going him. Uh, I know a lot of players like to just, you know, they want to try out the other characters. So we'll see if we'll see a character swap. I, I'm kind of guessing yes, but I don't know how committed um, Mike is to just being like, yeah, now if I lose, I lose. But honestly, it was close enough where he probably could do well enough with Corn to just get the W as well. Yeah. It also comes out on a stage pick as well, because sometimes it's not just your character counter pick, but also yeah. like the stage counter pick. Absolutely. 
Like for example, if you're let's say uh, let's say you're a character such as like Pit for example, I and you're not doing so hot. Yeah. And then what do you do? Well, they don't know you're gonna counterpick Luigi, so you do Luigi FD. Hmm. Yeah. Ever no, heard of that before? That's that's the that's the great uh, thing about playing multiple characters because you know you just cover all the stages that they wouldn't normally like strike or ban versus that character and you're like ha, 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 you fool I play a character that is really good on that stage so looks like you're right we're yeah. saying a DK out here on Battlefield yeah um, right. yeah I, like even though Battlefield has you know large blast zones both on the sides and the top Donkey Kong doesn't care you know he's gonna kill Pikachu at negative six percent no matter what uh, but you know that this is going to be the scary thing is that ooh, heavies versus fast characters. Uh, you know, he's a big boy and he he's a he can end up being a real damage sponge if Booty's able to just stay mobile and not get snatched up like that. Oh my lord! Uh. I've always wondered. Okay, I've seen this a lot amongst DK players. They'll go for like the cargo. Uh, I don't know. Is it called cargo grab? Whatever it is. Cargo throw. They'll go yeah. for that. Yeah. No one really seems to mash out of it, and it makes me curious. Is it just difficult to mash out? It's, I would, it's I would one of the harder ones to mash out once you're at higher percent. So, like, with Booty being at, like, over 100, like, he... Uh-oh. Well, some drops oh, from oh. some drops from Monkey, but... Yeah, like I was saying, was that, like, when you're over Excellent 100... Excellent netcode mix-up? Yeah, you're probably going to e end up eating uh, just whatever the throw is. You know, it's, mm. it's fairly easy to... It's much harder to break out of cargo than, like, a regular grab. Oh, I see. Okay, I and see. yeah, the uh, spinning Kong gonna just absorb that T Jolt and punch Pichu square in the face, taking him off the right side. And now only an 86% deficit uh, for Mike, which really doesn't really doesn't need to be that much, honestly. Donkey Kong's super heavy, and yeah, let's see what he can do. Uh, booty right now in a really good position. Game the spike from like nice down here. What a what a positioning. Like, he hit him at, like, the bottom of uh, DK's hurt box. But that's the thing, you know, that's what we're talking about, like, with him, like, big bodies. You know, there, there's a lot, there's a lot of them to hit. <laughs> yeah, certainly. Ooh, oh, I like the attempt. All right, back through again. All right, we'll see. Ooh, oh, oh great, great walk away. Damn! <laughs> God damn! All right, booty. Who's out here? Cold blood. That was sick. That was amazing offstage play. I love that. Just being able to cover like the low recoveries, and then if DK goes high, you just go back on stage, F tilt, Boom. jab, whatever you need. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, Booty just kind of just got that runoff, uh, and it, it was exactly what the doctor ordered, man. <laughs> that was. I actually didn't even realize that was the first kill. These are like all these like uh, like pretty good offstage kills. Nothing too crazy for like what Pichu wants to go for, but like my man's got his roots and and that's important. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, just great. Just taking advantage of what your character does uh, in in those advantageous positions. You know, really good stuff by Booty. Um, this match ended up being uh, not. This ended up turning out to be a worse turnout than uh Corin which you know could make sense honestly